Hi, my name is Len. This is my AU Ute. It's a 2000 model, I think Series 1. Um, I've got to start talking about, I might as well tell you the things that are, would be deemed to be wrong with it. One is it's got 470,000 kilometres. Uh, I know that sounds horrendous, but it's surprising how well this ute goes. Um, it still drives very well, it's not making a heap of noises, although the, it does need new sh front shocks, so they bang around a bit. Um, I'm just showing you this attachment point here at the back, it's for a crane, a small crane that goes with the ute. Uh, the box goes with the ute. The nice Z1 sticker goes with the ute. Um, yeah, apart from the, the shockies, uh, it's on gas, it's dual fuel, but the fuel don't work. I believe it's a petrol pump. Uh, the reason I say that is I was told if you yeah, keep driving them on gas all the time, the petrol pump is still working all the time. It is a five speed. And the petrol pump then uh, wears out, basically. There's a little bit of sag here in the ceiling lining. Um, basically, the interior looks, looks fairly good. Uh, has a good stereo in it. Um, all the carpet and everything are alright. It's a bit lumpy here on the front floor, uh, but the passenger floor is quite good. The um, the, passenger, the driver's door, of course, is good. Uh, look, it's dirty. I haven't had time to wash it. I've, I've been doing other things. We're moving house, so I don't have a lot of time to do it. I gave the outside a wash the other day. The paint is faded. I polished it probably 12 months ago, and it came up really nice. Um, but since then, of course, it's faded off again. The paint is old, of course. Um, just thinking of the other things. I hit a fox one night, so damaged the front end. Uh, just the bumper, no, not any damage underneath it, but that plastic thing also. As you can see, the bonnet's been scratched. It was a company car before I bought it. So uh, sometimes as company cars are, they're not, they're not uh, very well. But having said that, like I said, the car still drives well, still goes well. You'll notice a plate in here. If you know anyone with a AU Ford that's a manual, you'll know they have problems with their clutches as far as uh, it was a bad design. The firewall broke, or was broken when I bought it. I had it welded. Um, it's broken again. Um, so I, I put that plate on. I did say to the guy who welded I suggested a plate like that. Now that I've put the plate on, it's fixed that problem. Um, so that's that's out of the way. It's this part here on the gas system, it leaks water. It just, you know, it's just a constant drip. Every morning I fill it up again. Um, some people would see that as a big problem. I believe from eBay you can buy that that part. I can't. Is it the converter? I think it is. Uh, you can buy that for about 250 bucks. Um, and that would solve that problem with the gas. Look, it, it's like this all the time. This is what it looks like all the time. You can wash the engine, it doesn't actually drip oil anywhere, but there is a bit of uh, oil about. Um, I was losing power steering a, a month or so ago, um, and I replaced the switch down the bottom. That was the reason I was losing the power steering. Otherwise, uh, all that's fine. I'm really trying to think of anything I can think of that's wrong with this car. Uh, it's had a hit here, obviously they've driven over something. Um, I don't see it a major drama to fix, but if you want to fix it, I've never decided to fix it myself. It was on the car when I bought it. You can see the dual fuel set up here, but like I said, I believe the petrol pump is probably uh, worn out. Because it just, I, I, I drove it mainly on gas all the time, and I still do. Well, I only drive on gas now, but uh, yeah, one one time it ran out of gas. I, I flicked it over to petrol, and it wouldn't go over. So apparently, that's that's probably the reason. Uh, something I didn't show you. It's got a very good tow set up on it. Uh, it's a very heavy duty system under here to take that little crane. For such a small crane, it's a a very big system. It goes right through and on top of the tow bar. It's got a spare tyre of course. I believe it's got about, I think it's around five months rego. Uh, this here, 
my friend uh, backed into it with his four wheel drive. Thank you. Um, I decided not to fix it at the time because, uh, well, the ute was reasonably old at the time anyway. Um, as you can see, the mags come up alright when they've had a bit of a wash. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else that's wrong with this ute. Oh, it's got a small crack in the windscreen. Uh, right here in the corner. It's been through Rego a couple of times with it, but whether that's just my Rego guy, I don't know. So, uh, let me think. I think that's about it. Oh, well, you got the scungy aerial. <laughs> it's been like that since I bought it. So, uh, it still picks up the stations quite well. Uh, USB in the in the stereo, which is good. Um, now, all these problems that's wrong with this chute, it's got, you know, small dents around the place on the guards, uh, on the doors. I actually have a second car, a spare car that I bought off my mother and father-in-law. It's um, it's got it's an AU also, and the beauty of it is that it's got about a, I think it's 148,000. That's it sitting down there. Um, all the panels are good on it. Uh, electric windows in the front, which I think would hook into this car because it would have the wiring. Um, the gearbox is good, the seats are really good. Ah, oh, the driver's seat in this car is a bit collapsed on one side, on the side you get out. Um, all the interior in that car is identical to this one, even the cloth seats are exactly the same. Um, so you could easily change the seats over, uh, any parts of the dash that you, you thought there's a clock in that one which this one doesn't have. Um, like I said, the panels, all the panels could go straight onto it. We've got a bumper bar. The, the the guards and the doors are very good. Um, basically, all the spares you could ever want for this car is on that car. And the engine only having a 140 odd k's on it, it would basically make this one like a nearly a new car again. So anyway, I'm going to list it fairly cheap. Uh, if you'd like to come and have a look at it before you bid, if you want to come and have a drive of it. It's always recommended. Uh, please feel free to ring me. I'll leave my number on eBay, and you can do that, and we'll arrange a time. Okay, thanks for listening. And uh, oh, the gas gas unit. I had this. I had this redone some uh, probably three years ago, so it's got probably seven years on it before it needs checking again. So that's a good thing right there. Uh, apart from that, the rest of the car's fine. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.